Where are you going? What? Where are you going? I'm going anywhere. I'm sure now, but I'm sleeping. Oh, no. How are you doing? What? Want to go walking now? Uh, now it's nine thirty. Okay. Okay, twelve. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Uh, I would like to, with your permission, to finish up the piece here on Beit Knesset that we started yesterday. And then we'll move on to a short piece if we have time. Okay. So we were discussing yesterday the, uh, the importance of davening in a Beit Knesset, of uh, trying to be from the first 10. Uh, and all the other uh, milas, all the other opportunities one has uh, when one davens in the Beit Knesset. So he continues over here. Uh, now this, this is going to get a little uh, tricky over here. It's, uh, but here we hear him out. There are those that are careful. They do not speak in a Beit Knesset. <laughs> but because they understand how serious it is. In other words, it's, we're here to, to communicate with Hashem. We're not here for any uh, other purposes. That's what we're here for. Uh, but they're, so they're careful about that. But if other people will approach them, near or low, it appears to that person, kabusha as an embarrassment, and somewhat of a haughtiness, Shulola Shivo, not to respond. Bulomar and to point out, he doesn't speak in a Beit Knesset. He doesn't want to speak. And he feel and this person feels a bit embarrassed not to uh, not to respond because it'll look like he's being a bit showy. Because he has that feeling. He speaks, but it's uh, it hurts him. However, but as things work, work in general, when it comes to, to these ideas, but after a while, it becomes permissible in his eyes that, you know, say people don't like to live with uh, guilty consciences. So after a while, it just, you know, just wears off. So that's what can happen, which certainly is a very possible scenario. But he's, but he's pointing out, he's saying, but if someone's really someone who's serious about it. He should hold his ground because of the seriousness of the issue. And he should not be embarrassed in front of anyone. And he should say it with a full mouth. I don't speak in the Beit Knesset. I don't. That's not my policy. Shreza Dome, because this is similar, Lamisha Rotsela Abed Mimena Hona Take. If a person would imagine someone is trying to rob you of an enormous amount of wealth that you have, you would never give that up. You would fight to, to, to keep it. So this person who, the person's not doing it deliberately, but if someone comes over to you and he starts speaking and you feel you, that's not what you want to do, so then you, uh, you, you have to look at it as if someone's trying to take up something precious away from you. Or worse, lahargo. You wouldn't be concerned about embarrassment over there. Nothing would stand in your way. Nothing, and you, 
to, to escape from it. Allah has come of a comma, how much more so? If someone's looking to take away your money, so that's one thing, but he says, how much more so over here? Should Sarah Lochus Al Nafsho, number one, be concerned for yourself, for your own spiritual well being? Val Kvot Kono, and how much more so for the honor of Hashem? Zeklal Gadol, this is a, an important rule that we should live with. Shalolav or Shum Avera, a person should stand his ground when it comes to not committing an Avera. And don't hold back from doing any mitzvahs out of embarrassment. Like it says, this is like it says in Perk Yavos, a person has to be bold as a leopard. Somehow, I, I once heard Rav Avram Shor when he was speaking he was mentioning that the leopard, per se, is not the most, uh, it's not the strongest of the animals, but he comes on with such a uh, conviction that it, it, f- it throws terror into the others and that frightens them away. And someone who's careful about this, besides saving himself from committing the, the sin that he wants to avoid, no slogam kein schar ka'osa mitzvah. They give you, you'll be given a reward for doing the mitzvah. What mitzvah are you fulfilling? He says, Shemakai mitzvah su migdashi tira'u. From my base hamigdash, like all the Bati Knesios are, we understand this is a migdash ma'at. We have to look at it in that terms. You have, you have fear from my base hamigdash. She base Knesios su migdash ma'at v'tzorach liro mimeno. And there's a need for a person to have their heritage and awe of a Beit Knesset. I, uh, unfortunately, you know, we see that very often the non-Jews certainly show no embarrassment whatsoever. They'll do it in front of public. They'll, they'll, do, they'll do things in front of everyone. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, sometimes people feel a little self-conscious and a little bit uh, uncomfortable when they, you know, if they're in public and they have to... Uh, Put you know to daven or whatever else it may be, but again we have to we have to appreciate what we're uh, if you know appreciate what we're doing and appreciate what we represent. And uh, if anybody is making fun of us or laughing at us, then all the more scar for us, all the more scar for us because we're showing how much we uh, how much we we it's important to us to represent Hashem in the world. And if if they may, and whatever they are, that's it's all, it's all a test for myself. If somebody was standing there and they would be handing you a check for a million dollars and they say, you know, all you have to do is, you know, put on your tefillin in an airport and I'm going to give you a check for a million dollars, you wouldn't hesitate. A million dollar check talks to you. But if I have to realize that I'm making it I'm over here, then that's what I have to do. We don't per se look to do it, but if that's the situation and that's, that's what it calls for, so then that's what I need to do. Umichlal Morabe continues here. Umichlal Morabe Samigdosh, included in this understanding of having an awe for the Beis Knesses, Shulo Yitain Sham Bakolo Kol Az. We shouldn't talk loud. We don't talk, don't talk loud in a Beit Knesset. I feel a likra lashum adam to call out to someone, or limchos beyadachem, or to reprimand someone, house if someone's not acting properly. Well, what do you do? If you need to speak to someone, you should walk over to them and speak to them quietly, in a pleasant voice, in a, in a serious tone, like you're standing in the king's palace. Our, our problem is to a large extent is the whole concept of kavod and derech eretz is so lacking in the non-Jewish world that it, it filters down. In other words, the way people conduct themselves, in gen- even in places where, where you, even in non-Jewish world, where there used to be a certain respect and a certain conduct and a certain standard, all that's fallen. The whole thing's dropped. And we see people lack a certain respect. So naturally, it, it filters down into our world. 
And that's, uh, we have to realize that we're not living by their standard because, it, because they lack no respect and they have no self-dignity. That shouldn't affect us on, on the way we conduct ourselves. And that, that's, that's, that's a certain tension we have over here because we, we see from the outer world how, how lack of respect they have. And that sort of, you know, rubs off on us. We can't allow that. Va'ayin roe. People see, just look, he's saying, look, but I'm saying, unfortunately, that's not the way it is today. But he says, he would say back in his days, for sure, look how people, how people conduct themselves in official, in official buildings, in front of judges, COVID gadol, how you would have respect. I mean, today, no one has respect for anyone anymore. Vain call, vain owner, there's silence, people act with decorum, there's respect, etc. They know it's called Mamadaka, it's silent. In other words, uh, how we should be so uh, upset at ourselves. Gama Akum, he says, look at the non Jews. Hamis Halalim Beililim, when they go into to their places of worship, the Yajvim Babes Tiflusam, they're sitting in their houses of worship. Omdim, how they're standing there, but covered Gadol, Baim over Yira, right there, whatever. Hey Nemes, it's true. He's bringing down over. He's pointing out over here a very important idea. Hey Nemes, it's true. Shaomid lifnei shofet. If you're standing in front of a, a flesh and blood judge, inaviyachazu as you see who's in front of you. Bim yirtzel ledaber eizah sfas yesen. If you want to have any speech whatsoever, v'charona yivhaluch. They'll be furious at you. V'chamas amalech malachim moves. They'll kill you. And it's true, Lokena Omid Bebeis Knesset. That that's the challenge we have over here when we're when we're coming to a Beit Knesset. Shaino Roa Es Asher Lefanov. You don't see a flesh and blood God that they they, they made idols. They have they have figurines. They they're talking to someone Kilu, but uh, we don't have. We're talking to uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu. Ve'en Nifroi Min Adam. No one is there to uh, retribute to give out retribution. Right there, take off from a yad. You know, we don't see that. Ella Bederuk showed them wrote Zelayla, but we have to know. And it is Bederuk Shiro, if a person wants, may nicha, they leave you. In other words, there's, there's no immediate consequence for any misbehavior. And the problem is, V'yetzu Tzomuch, Omer al Yemino, your Yetzahara is right there, L'sidno, to, to push you on. Misito Heses Kaful, he keeps pushing you and pushing you. L'havir al Daskona, to do things which are contrary the way the Kaddish Baruch would want you to conduct yourself. Bezel kol ras ha'odem ba'oritz. This is a terrible thing. Aval choves gavra, what's important for us to do. Asher hu Yehudi, we're Jews. Umamin be'mun shlema, we have 100% faith. The Metzios Hashem, that the existence of the Creator. Melech Nora v'ayom, who's awesome. The kol makom, and his presence is everywhere. Malo Kolaritz Kvodo, his, his honor is everywhere. And it's even more sensed. And his presence is more felt. In his holy abode in the Beit Knesset or the Beit Samedrish. He's quite aware. He's aware of, of every person's move. To, to respond to each person and how they conduct themselves. Mishalem afilo al sicha kala. And Hashem is, a, is going to respond to even any slight, whatever, any, any type of speech we have, Hashem is going to respond to it. Im letov, im lamut, for good or for the better. Everything we say is being accounted for. Hayom la sosim, we do them now. In the future, we'll, we'll, we'll have the, the, you know, the accounting. This is something that the Chavetz Chaim used to uh, point out. He said that we think that uh, we're much smarter these days. And that's with our, when, you know, he was talking when they developed uh, movies and telephones and recordings, all these kinds of ideas. And he's saying, he said, it's not because we're so much smarter that we've developed all these things. He said, on the contrary, he said that if you would have told a Jew 200 years ago that Hashem is aware of everything that you're doing, so the Jew would believe you. He, wouldn't, he couldn't prove it to you, 
but he would certainly live with that reality. And that would be a, a reality to him. That if you would tell, he said in his day, you know, in, in our days, he said, if you tell that to somebody, he wouldn't believe you. And he says, so that's why Hashem had to, uh, you know, bring into the world this idea of, uh, you know, communication so they can speak here and they hear you on Mars already. So a person would say, oh, you know, it can be such a thing. Or you can see people in, uh, you know, recorded who are dead already 50, 60, 80 years already. So you see that everything is being recorded. In other words, our, like Rabbi Miller would say, your eyes are your, is your camera and everything that your camera has been going since the day you're born, until the day you leave the world, your eyes are recording everything that you are, and that and that recording is going to be played over. And this, this is the idea over here. We have to um, we have to, to to appreciate that sensitivity over here. So he says, even though you can't necessarily see something, but we want to make it as we have to try to make it as real as possible to ourselves. Well, a person is quite capable. Of, of living with, uh, having, you know, self-control. It's, it's, it's imperative. It's, a, it's good for him. This is what a person is here for. How fortunate is someone that lives with an awe of the Creator. Wherever he goes. How much more so again. In Hashem's holy abode. We should act up. With, with reverence when we go into a Beit Knesses. You, sh you shouldn't make yourself too loud. A person shouldn't, uh, a person should learn to, you know, they don't, not everybody has to know that you're there. You can speak to a person, but speak to the person, you know, quietly. And he says our earlier leaders, they made fences, Shalola Dabrim Khavera Fila Bdivra Torah. They would they would point out that even for Torah a person should try to not to speak Shalo Yakshadeno so that people will think Shilo Yorhatilatsam. In other words, Talmir Khachamim he'd say they they that took upon themselves not even to talk in Torah in a Beit Knesset because other people might see them and they don't know what they're talking about. And they'll think, well, you can talk in a Beit Knesset. So in other words, the the, the more the more important, you know, the, the greater of a Talmud Chacham you are, you have to think ahead of what people will will learn from you. And if they, they don't know that you're necessarily talking in Torah, and therefore um, people would take upon themselves not to speak at all in, in, a, in a Beit Knesset. But again, you have to know the situation, as always. Vazahiris, Shalola Dara Beit Knesset, and this carefulness, this awareness of not speaking in a Beit Knesset, He's pointing out that this is, is, is irrespective of davening. He says, because when a person's davening, even if you're out, you're davening in an outdoor minion, wherever you're davening. Because again, if we appreciate what we're trying to accomplish in the davening, we don't, you don't want to bring in outside things because that's only going to distract you and take you off. It's going to take your focus off of what you're looking to accomplish. We do a Maimon Rabbi saying we look at the Gemara in Brachos. He quotes, "Ain't tefilah shall adam nishma." A person, if he wants his tefilah to be heard, meaning to make to get to accomplish what you would want it to be accomplished, and accept in a Beit Knesses. Rabbi Amru it says, "Call me to a Beit Knesses." If a person has a Beit Knesset in his, in his, in his town, they know Nichna Shom, and he doesn't walk into the Beit Knesset, Nikrat Shochein Ra, because he's, he's, he's not a, he's not a good member of the community. With Gorim Golos Latzmo, he's causing himself that he will have to be sent into Golos. Asher al Kain Roy Lish Tadil Ma'od, how important is, you asked me this the other day, someone, it's crucial to try to daven in a Beit Knesset. He brings down a fili murchach lispalu b'yochid. Even if for some reason you have to daven by yourself, you should nevertheless go to the Beit Knesset and daven there. The closer come to show to each other, harbor lispalu b'yochid in Fidel. How much more so a person should make every effort to daven in the minyan. Lo yispalu b'yochid, don't daven by yourself. All the base of even with a minyan, don't daven in your house. In other words, um, 
try to avoid these uh, outdoor minion. Hey, Tom, can you mute? We have to make the method available, obviously. But to some people, you, you always see them, they have these um, garage minions or whatever. I, I don't quite understand it, but whatever. I you know, you don't want to judge anybody. But anyway, if you have a, an opportunity to dive in, in a shul, do it. Bim lo machmas on is god unless it's there's absolutely no you have no choice. Kimi abet tovahare because you should know by not davening in a shul you're losing a lot. But dai baze says I said enough. I've said enough. Lamish yesh lo leiv tov if you understand. Kimi she ain lo leiv tov because people who don't really appreciate what I'm saying or you can't about dvarim kahena but no matter what I say it's not going to have its effect. So this is his piece that he mentioned on Beit Knesset. Uh, I want to do, we still have some time, Mezrat Hashem. I want to do another small piece over here. Uh, I don't know if it's a corollary, but it's uh, it's something that uh, is important for us to look at. But first, are there any questions about Beit Knesset, though, before we move on to this other little piece? I, I was just going to say we have a unique opportunity today, given a lot of the minyanim in the States are smaller to really get that bonus credit uh, for being one of the top 10. So, a hundred percent, right, right, right. <laughs> Shem's giving, right, and, we, and, and try to pick up on it when the, when the numbers can go up to try to, uh, you know, take advantage of that opportunity, you're right. Again, it's a, dem it's a demonstration of an appreciation of what I have. Uh, in other words, again, if I'm just looking to do something and to fulfill my responsibility, so then it doesn't make, you know, what's the difference? These, these, are, these are demonstrations of, uh, sh it's showing a relationship. It's, show, it's, showing, it's showing a certain mind, you know, an, uh, an attitude that I have, that, that, that davening with a minion is something that's important to me. And I try to uh, take full advantage of it. And if I understand, like you're saying, being from the first 10, uh, is going to enhance the tefillah, then I, I certainly want to, uh, you know, take that advantage. You know, it's, it's it's a whole it's a whole way of looking at things. And yeah, right, correct. Okay, so this little piece of any anything else, uh, or we'll move on. Then we still have a couple of minutes. Let me just do this other piece with you, if you if we can. The, 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 uh, what he's discussing now is the idea, which is. Uh, a fundamental idea in life. It's called bocher. It doesn't. It's not such a big piece here, but it's a, uh, it's a mouthful because it, it's it's crucial in everything we do in our life. Bocher means choice, choices, which is, uh, you know, crucial. Roy la adam. It's appropriate. It's, it's it's even more than appropriate. It's mandatory for a person. She bocher betov to make good choices. You know. Um, Right, we have one life, and we want. Hopefully, we have one life, and we want to we want to look back and look back, you know, with a smile. Look at we look look at because of the choices we made. Look at where it took us to. Bein tov, bein lemutav. Person has to make choices whether they're for good or for the better. Kemosocher tov. He brings his metaphor. He's like a, a business, a good businessman. Kishabar lahotzi maosib prakmati. If a person or person's looking to in, in, invest. So what, he has to decide where he's putting his money, where you're putting your money into. Yivchalo haprakmatia, he's going to, he's going to choose an investment. Obviously, he's going to look for the investment that's going to bring him the most profit. Bal kol ponim, and at least yikne gamkein, mikol min pragmatia maat, he's going to buy. He'll put small investments. Shim tzeetz Allah says lekol showel, so be able to, to give to everybody. Aval but his main business, he's always going to invest his money where he sees the greatest profit. So that's that's a businessman. And again, we have to learn. So to a person who's looking for perfection, to be a maximum individual. We're not looking to be minimal people. We're looking to be maximal people. So if we're looking to be a maximal person, kishabola hotzi itos, time is money. The Americans didn't invent that. Kishabola hotzi itos, 
Time is money. He's looking to to divide up his time. He has he has open time. He has pan, he has panoya shilo, right? He has uh, free time on his hands. Many people during this during this you know lockdowns, people were texting me. Now we can look, now I have time. I'd like to learn with you. They were trying to use this time exactly. By Millie used to point out, what do you do on Sundays if you're not working? You know, pack up a lunch and go to the base of Madras and you show what do you do with your Sundays. Because a person, if you really want to learn, so show Hashem how you use your Sundays. And if Hashem sees how you appreciate your Sundays, he'll give you more days then. But at least show the times that you, you know, before you start looking for more, show your appreciation of what you have now. Right? So Rabbi Scheinberg used to say, he said, what do you do when you come to a red light? So he said, you open up a safer. You have time now, use it. Today, you don't even have to come to red light. You know, back then they didn't have tapes or whatever. They didn't have Torah any time. But, uh, you know, now you can get it wherever you go. You don't have to get to the red light first. You can listen to it the whole way. You don't have to listen to uh, the news. The news is just going to depress you. What do you have to listen to the news for? You don't want to know what traffic to avoid you, whatever. But otherwise, the news is just depressing. You'll, be, you'll have a much better day if you don't listen to it. When you're looking for free time, look for things where you where it's good to invest. For things that'll be most helpful, things that are most demanding. The same thing when you're coming to learn. Interesting, he brings that here also. He's bringing it down even. When it comes to learning, what learning do you pick? Yeah, we always, we're always making choices. You have to make choices. That's the way life works. So he says, even when it comes to learning, which, which learning should you pick? Learn the learning that would be most beneficial for you. And that which is most demanding. All right. Now, again, uh, everything has to be understood. I, I once had a student. I, I still have him, but, uh, you know, whatever he once told me that... Um, he said he enjoyed learning Navi. And um, so when he went there to the base measures, learning Navi, he said, learning Navi, that's for girls. So he said, you have to learn Gemara. So he stopped learning the Navi, but he wasn't really so into learning Gemara. It was much more difficult and not as enjoy, an enjoyable experience. So he stopped learning the Navi and he opened up the Gemara. So that didn't take too long before he closed the Gemara and they didn't have the Navi either anymore. So that's very important. The person needs to learn what you enjoy learning. Certainly if you're learning by yourself. If you're learning with a chavrus, that's one thing. So then one can always uh, you know, give chizuk to the other one. But if you're learning by yourself, it's crucial that you learn what you enjoy because then you'll keep doing it. If it's going to be something that you feel I have to learn, but it's not going to be an enjoyable experience, then uh, it's not going to be long lasting. And that's very, very crucial until a person develops an appreciation for learning and he's prepared to, to learn, you know, then it develops an enjoyment in and of itself. Any learning one does. But until one reaches that, then it's crucial to, at the, at the beginning, to learn things that you feel that inspire you, that talk, speak to you, and then it's going to be something that you look forward to. Similarly, if you're going to spend money for mitzvahs, there are levels of mitzvahs too. And learn to where, to where to invest your money. If they have malcolm, believe ten lamalkum, hayosa tova yosa, give to the best and the most important. I'll call ponim tia yodo bakol. Interesting, he's saying, spread out your investments, spread out your investments in all areas. Viechos beze, begun, pick them all. But don't not, aval, he's saying, haikar yasemashu yotir tov. In other words, you have to learn from, uh, I don't forgot the expression, from portfolio managers. Right, people who always want a port people want a portfolio. So he says that's in life too. We need a portfolio. Yeah, you put your investments in all sorts of things, but then you have to know where do you put your main investment. Right, this is what we have to do. You don't know. People don't know. Or where is the light? Knows where am I supposed to invest? What is my main or which which is the correct way to do it? So what do you do if you don't know in in your monetary terms? You go to a professional. So Yehla Chetzel Chacham, Yilam Deyu, go to a Talmud Chacham, and he'll tell you. Go to a Talmud Chacham. If you don't know what, how to, you know, invest your time or in your money and mitzvahs and things like that, so go to a Talmud Chacham, and he'll tell you about Tzosu Yanichen. He'll give you proper advice. Rakazet Sarak Shiyeh Meivin Midaito. This you need to understand on your own. 
או שיגיד לו חוכם שאין לו צורך לבריאוס, שהגדול הוא שבצדוק עושה, What is the greatest tzedakah? If you want to invest in tzedakah, he's saying, Leos machzik b'yad lom de Torah. To always help people who are learning Torah. Eitz chayimi, this is your source of life. L'machazikim bo ve'en lo chamida tovim, and there's nothing greater than that. There are many, many other worthy, worthy causes. But he's saying the, the most crucial tzedakah he's telling you over here is, is to be machzik people are learning Torah. L'chein le'inyin hara, the other way around, in muchrach ma'od b'maisav l'asos davar ra, if a person chas shalom has to do things which he needs to do, but, you know, it's it's an avera, but he has no choice, it has to be done. Yivcha hara b'miyuta, try to choose, to choose the least negative out of them all. Ki kol ha'she yimat hara, the least you need to do yek, then obviously, now if a person's over, being overwhelmed by his yek tzahara, the Gemara brings this down. Go, you know, if, if I have no choice, I, I'm not holding myself back, so at least try to choose the least problematic one, the least detrimental one. In Yosef al Echrecho, gam onzo lezodon yichel, because if you do more than that, then that's considered willingly. Elokim yavo b'mishpat, Hashem judges us for everything. If he wants to do it, if he minimizes things which are prohibited, he really had a, a fear of Hashem. In other words, even if he did it, but he tried to minimize as much as he could, and the onus Rahman Apache and Hashem will forgive him for that. Okay? I'm sorry if I went a little over time, but uh, we did these pieces, and Bezrat Hashem, we will pick up tomorrow. Are there any? Questions or comments or whatever. We're good. Okay. Have an amazing, have an amazing day. All right, Rabbi, I had a question. Yes, Mayor. I assume that you, Mayor. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so, so my question is, um, in utilizing time, what does Rabbi think is 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 a good approach? Like I know for myself, like I, I utilizing time for learning Torah. I said it's I, I set time for in the morning a very small amount, like maybe five, ten minutes in the morning of learning Torah. And then at night I do like a half an hour like minimum. Um, but it, but when I should, should like when, when should a person start expanding yeah, on that, you know, like second. a half an hour. You know? Again, let me th this is this is not a one second answer. Uh, I'm not you know, I think it's a personal question. In other words, if if you wish to discuss it, we'd need to discuss that personally. And uh, I don't, you know, you can't just, you can't just give off the cuff okay. answer to people. You understand what I'm saying? There's no, there's no one answer fits all. There are, there are many, many uh, Absolutely. need to be taken into account. So I go to a doctor, it hurts me. Well, <laughs> you gotta, you know, give me a whole, you can't just walk in like that and you take an aspirin. You don't want to walk into a doctor like that. So, so if we wish, we will, we'll find time to discuss that. Please, you know, text me or whatever and we'll, we'll discuss it. Okay. I will. I will. Thank you so much, okay. Ravi. Okay. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Okay. All the best. Um, okay. All the best. Bye. 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 Bye.